one of the consequences of, uh, of American doctors in hospitals not paying closer attention uh, not only to quality but also to the annual cost of their care is that they have unintentionally uh, begun to price uh, many American families out of the ability to afford health insurance. Health care rising faster than American income you know, gets to be a, a terrible problem. Each of these photographs are ones I clipped from the front page uh, of major American uh, newspapers. These are stories about families who could no longer afford uh, health insurance. If you look at the diagram I've done to portray this, the beginning of the clock face, which is the, you know, the midnight to 3 o'clock, that roughly coincided with about 15 or 20 years ago when people making $25,000 don't qualify for Medicaid, just simply didn't make enough money to pay health insurance and still put food on the table and pay rent. If you follow the clock face around uh, and you now look at the 3 to 6 o'clock, you begin to you know, approximate the period maybe five years after that, so let's call it 15 years ago, when Americans making $35,000, the family I've portrayed in that second portion of the clock face, uh, no longer had enough money to afford an average health insurance policy and still put bread on the table. And then as you move to uh, 10 years ago, uh, you move to that 6 to 9 o'clock segment of the clock face that I constructed, and you meet the, a family in Tennessee. He makes $45,000 a year. That He owned his own home, and they had a reasonable quality of life um, until their child developing cancer. They were no longer able to afford uh, the next year's health insurance premiums. And then uh, five years ago, we have uh, the example in the 9 to 12 segment of the clock. That's a family in Dallas. Their income is 55000 plus range. Uh, these are people who run their own business. They're not poor, but, uh, but like many Americans, when they found out what it would cost for them to cover health insurance not only for themselves, but their 19-year-old son who, like the Tennessee family, had developed a very major form of cancer, could no longer afford the premiums. If delivery systems don't engage not only in improving health, but also improving their approach to care such that it grows less quickly, and consumes a lower fraction of average Americans' income than the fraction of Americans who simply will no longer be able to afford a, an insurance policy that gets them access to good care will continue to grow. That's the challenge that uh, I think American doctors and hospitals face.